Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to the mess hall here at uh, Dr. Jet Laboratories. Today, today, <laughs> today I'm singing the blues. I'm, uh, I'm in one of those moods, let me tell you. I just found and purchased another <laughs> super rare unicorn that I was going to make a prize for the uh, long hard shaft challenge. But then it it's finally dawned on me. Not a single person not one has even expressed the least amount of interest in doing this. And I'm thinking to myself, why am I spending hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars for prizes to give away when nobody gives a Shinola about it? And so with that in mind, I'm rescinding the uh, the challenge. There will be no more challenges. I've learned. <laughs> I've learned. Okay, guys. So, you know, you'll get you'll get good old Doctor Jet videos here, and no more giveaways. So, uh, I've been hitting this with some sandpaper. When the whole boat looks like this, it'll be ready to recoat. Interestingly enough. Check this out. When I sprayed on the primer, a lot of places I, I let it go on dry, you know, to where it... And you can see the specks of dryness as I sand down. Now it's perfectly smooth, but I'm thinking in areas where you're going to be taping up, maybe that'll get you a better bond between your color coat and your primer, because there have been times when I've pulled up tape, and, and you know when I get the primer really nice and smooth, you know, uh, surface prep, surface prep, surface prep, and I get it really nice and smooth, the paint doesn't stick to it very well. So I decided to leave a little tooth in the primer this time and knock down the first tack coat instead. So that's part of what I'm doing here. I didn't really... Uh, sand out the primer that much. So we're going to see. Anyway, there's just a quick update. Until next time, jet out.